Hello everyone. In our session today, we are going to be taking a look at Active Directory Domain Services Functional Levels. Now, when we are promoting a domain controller, when you are deploying a domain controller in a forest during the installation, you are prompted to set the functional level of the forest and the functional level of the domain. What does that mean? Well, functional levels determine the services and the capabilities that are offered by the domain controller. The functional levels also determine which Windows Server operating systems you can run on domain controllers in the domain or the forest. However, the functional levels do not determine operating systems that you can run on member servers or other workstations within the forest. It only applies to domain controllers in the domain or the forest. In our screenshot here, you can see that we have a choice of the functional level. You can set the forest functional level, you can set the domain functional level. You cannot set the domain functional level to a value that is lower than the forest functional level. For example, if you set the forest functional level to Windows Server 2008, you can set the domain functional level only to Windows Server 2008. You can set the domain functional level to a value that is higher than the forest functional level. For example, if your forest functional level, let's say, is Server 2003, you can set the domain functional level to Windows Server 2003 or higher. When you deploy Active Directory Domain Services, you need to set the domain and forest functional levels to the highest value that your environment can support. For example, if you are deploying a Server 2012 R2 domain controller, and within your forest you have other domain controllers that are lower than 2012 R2. For example, 2008. You can only set your forest functional level to the lowest level of the domain controller that you have within your forest. When you are setting up domain controllers within your forest, you always want to, to aim for the highest functional level. But be careful. If you have other domain controllers within the forest that are lower than the operational system that you want to install, for example, if you now want to install a 2012 or 2 domain, then you need to have all 2012 or 2 if you're going to set the functional level to 2012 or 2. Because if you have, if you're going to retain other domain controllers, for example, 2008, you will have to set your functional level to the lowest level of domain controller that exists within your forest. In your required reading, you are provided with a table that shows all the features that are available at each domain functional level and each forest functional level. In order to raise the domain or forest functional levels, you must be a member of the domain admin group if you're going to be raising the domain functional level. And if you're going to raise the forest functional level, you have to be a member of the enterprise admin group. Now you can raise the domain functional level on the primary domain controller. 
the Active Directory Administration tool that you would use to raise a domain functional level is the Active Directory Domains and Trust Snapping and the Active Directory Users and Computers Snapping. Those two tools automatically target the PDC emulator when you raise the domain functional level. Let's take a look. To raise the forest functional level, we're going to click on Tools, Active Directory Domains and Trust. And we're going to right click on Active Directory Domains and Trust in the console. And we're going to select Raise Forest Functional Level. And we can see here that we are already at Server 2012 or 2. So the forest is operating at the highest possible functional level. And in order to choose a functional level lower than the functional level that you have, you would have to run a PowerShell command to do so. And the PowerShell command is set AD forest mode. So after you set the functional level, the forest functional level, you can't roll it back or lower it, except in the cases where you use the set AD forest mode commandlet. Using that commandlet, if your current forest functional level is server 2012 or 2, your rollback options are server 2012 or server 2008 or 2. Then I click on OK here. And we're going to close Active Directory Domains and Trust. Now let's take a look at the tool that we would use for the domain functional level. Click on Tools, Active Directory Users and Computers. And within Active Directory Users and Computers, we want to right click at the top here on Active Directory Users and Computers. We want to select Raise Domain Functional Level. And we can see the option here for raising the domain functional level. And again, in our example here, the domain is operating at the highest possible functional level. But this is the tool that we would use to raise the domain functional level. Let's click on close. Now remember that the features that are available at forest functional levels and domain functional levels are available on the site for your required reading. This is the end of our session on domain and forest functional levels within Active Directory. I want to thank you for listening.